Hello, today I'd like to introduce you to a vehicle that arouses your curiosity during a visit to the museum storeroom, the Circa 2000. We're also taking this opportunity to talk design. In 1986, as part of Expo Vancouver, we looked to the future and talked transportation. It's also an opportunity to celebrate the city's centenary and the arrival of the train on the country's west coast, so it's hardly surprising that the theme of transportation has inspired the entire Vancouver exhibition. Can you believe it if the theme of Expo 86 was transportation and communication and the sub-theme celebrated ingenuity? The Circa 2000 snowmobile was built especially for the Expo. The idea was what a snowmobile would have looked like around the year 2000. In fact, the word Circa is a Latin word meaning about. It's a futuristic vehicle. Its design appeals to the future of snowmobiling. What is the Circa 2000? The Circa 2000 is a life-size, one-to-one scale model. For its construction, we have a tubular steel chassis on which we've created the curves of the vehicle. The body is made of wood, glass fiber, and putty to which yellow and black paint has been applied. There's a static ski at the front. The tracks are made of rubber with Kevlar and nylon fabric. Then there are steel profiles in hue that connect the three tracks, the same principle as snowmobiles at the time. But the model has no engine or other mechanical parts. It's an exercise in design and imagination. In terms of innovation, it's more an exercise in style than development. It's the look, the appearance that surprises. In the museum's archives, we have some of the sketches used to create this model. It's such a futuristic design. You'd think it was created for a science fiction movie. In 2019, BRP celebrated 50 years of design. Industrial design is about imagining and creating a product. Drawing it, its materials, its functionality. Then we aim to enhance its appearance, its utility, its performance, its reliability. It also integrates and uses the arts and sciences, taking into account industrialization processes. Speaking of industrial design, let's talk about Jean Labbé. A 1979 graduate of the École de Design Industrielle de Montréal, and the first Quebecer to earn the title of transportation designer at the prestigious Art Center College of Design in California. He is responsible for the design of the vehicles presented at Expo 86, including the Circa 2000. He's also in charge of projects for the new New York subway cars with Bombardier and the new Azure subway cars in Montreal. Two other important designers in the company's history are also worth mentioning. Sam Lapointe, a young designer and graduate of the École des Beaux-Arts de Québec, will be commissioned by Laurent Baudouin to give style to the yellow ski do created by Joseph Armand Bombardier. The design of the 1966 Ski Do Olympique snowmobile appeals to consumers. In 1969, Bombardier Limité establishes its first design department with Sam as manager. For over 30 years, he designed the famous Ski Do snowmobiles. 20 years later, Denis Lapointe, Sam Lapointe's son, was hired as designer in 1985 to redefine, redefine the concept of the Sea-Doo watercraft developed in 1968. Dennis was then given the mandate to design the entire Sea-Doo product line. He and his team succeeded in giving design its rightful place at the heart of the company's activities. The quality of their work has been rewarded time and again with numerous awards and distinctions. He is now Senior Vice President, Design Innovation and Creative Services at BRP. In 2008, with the creation of the Center Design at Innovation Laurent Baudouin, the team's work became even more focused on integrating design, engineering, and marketing in the creation of products. Like most of Joseph Armand Bombardier's inventions, the new products are surprisingly unusual. There was nothing traditional about the look of the B7 or the Muskeg. The snowmobile was just as surprising when it was unveiled, and the design of the Can-Am Spider surprised many. 
The circa, in turn, was a way of imagining the future of snowmobiling, looking 15 years into the future. That's all from the Circa 2000 capsule. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook to see all our videos.